So it's time to address some numerous, numerous, numerous comments that have been made on my modesty challenge video. I, um, I don't know. <laughs> Basically, the message of the video is be wise about what you wear because it's not all about you and looking cute. I just... Um, so yes, it's not all about us and looking cute and having, you know, I don't know, the wrong type of attention drawn to us, like a guy being aroused by what we're showing and, you know, it doesn't matter how nice you think this part or that part of your body is, you know, why, why do you want to show it? Because you think it's nice and you want guys to admire it or do you want to cover it because you want to be wise in what you, uh, reveal? Um, so that's, that's it. That's the video is just challenge, a challenge to really examine your heart and your intention when you get dressed. Um, if your intention is, ooh, that looks good. I'm going to wear this so I can show it off. You probably don't have a very modest heart. If your intention is, ooh, that looks a little scandalous. I better cover this up because it could draw the wrong kind of attention. You're on the right track and that's great. Um, and then I just take it to another level, just reminding people that our brothers in Christ are men, they're visual, they struggle with lust. Let's help them out by not showing them all our stuff so that they won't maybe be a little less likely to fall into sin. Uh, we're not responsible for their sin, like so many people have asked. Of course we're not responsible for their sin. We're responsible for our sin. Everybody's responsible for their own sin. But... I love uh, my brother in Christ, and I want to pursue holiness uh, with him. I want to fight for his holiness, and I want him to grow in his maturity and his faith. And so if I can help him in some way to avoid sin, I want to do that. Let it be lust. Let it be gossip. Let it be alcoholism. Let it be drugs. Let it be any sin you can fill the blank in with. If I want to love my brother truly how the bible calls me to love him then i'm going to help him avoid sin so yes i do want to carry some of my brothers and sisters load because scripture says we are to love each other and we need to love each other as ourselves and we need to fight for each other's holiness the way we fight for our own holiness and i go to a church where it is extremely genuine that we actually run this race together. I am in fellowship throughout the week with my friends that all attend my church and we just genuinely love each other and that's just the way that it is where I'm at. I'm very grateful and blessed and I know it's a unique place. So the people that have a problem with taking on you know, a load for somebody else. You don't have to worry about somebody else's issues or problems. That's not loving or biblical. And that's why I'm challenging another way of thinking. Um, so really the video's message is examine your heart. Um, modesty is a heart issue. It's not just the outside. You can have a uh, sensual um, heart that wants to attract sexual attention and dress from head to toe covered no one can see anything except your pupils well that's still an immodest person it's not just external it is a heart issue if your heart is modest if you truly want to honor the lord in your apparel if you truly want to not be all like hey look at this then the outside is just naturally going to uh, exemplify that so that's the point of the video i'm sorry that it offended so many people um, it's not our responsibility for other people's sin. Um, it's okay if a guy looks at me and thinks, wow, she's pretty. They're not lusting after me. If they are, sorry, fight your sin, sir. I'm not doing anything to cause that intentionally. Um, you know, uh, we don't have to go to an extreme of saying, well, what about people with foot fetishes? You know, I wear sandals, I wear heels, I like looking cute, I like makeup and jewelry. I don't think there's anything wrong with dressing up and looking nice. <laughs> I say that in many of my other videos. So, no, don't look ugly all the time. There's no reason for that. Um, you're not trying to look ugly. You're not trying, the point is you're not trying to attract sexual attention. Uh, so, that is addressed. And can't remember what else. I think the main thing is the people being offended that so we're responsible for their sin. No is the answer. And I think I've explained that clearly in the comments, but I just want to make a reply. And also, what about people's foot fetishes? <laughs> I don't know. Calm down. We don't have to be so tightly wound. 
um, and go to such crazy extremes and just to challenge your heart and be working towards truly having a modest heart and letting the outside uh, show that. And I think that's all I really had to say. I'm sorry that it stirred so much controversy. Uh, I don't have a list of what to wear and what not to wear. Bible, the Bible doesn't either. All the Bible says is to be modest. And um, the Bible is clear that lust is a sin. And so let's help our, our brothers in Christ. And, um, and yeah, that's it. So I hope that's helpful and that it answers some questions. And I wish that um, it wasn't so dramatic. But, yeah. Have a good day.